jumping into the uh, Microsoft ecosystem, we like to show the slide up front to kind of give a lay of the land of how Dynamics works. And I won't spend too much time here, but at the bottom you see Azure. Uh, this whole platform is based on Azure in Microsoft's secure cloud. And we have all of the capabilities that Azure comes with in a lot of these tools that you'll see today. Built upon Azure is what's called the Power Platform. Uh, that can, encompasses the common data model, Power Apps, Pot Power Automate, and Power BI. This is uh, becoming like the central database for many of Microsoft's apps, particularly on the customer engagement side. So if we bump up into the center box here, Microsoft has first party apps that they provide uh, that was traditionally known as like dynamic CRM online. Now they have divorced the product from the platform. So you can buy the platform by itself and put your own applications on it, or you can buy one of Microsoft apps, or you can mix and match. So you see we have some first party apps, which were sales and customer service or field service. There's also a customer service and a few others in here. We'll focus on field service today. But uh, do know that if sales becomes part of the process, it's very easy to spin up and it dovetails nicely into field service because they are indeed all on the common data model. They're sharing the same underlying databases. Custom apps are also an option. So if we determine that maybe field service itself is too big of an app um, or it has some features but not everything that we want, we can look towards building something more custom. And that will also sit on the common data model. So you get all of the features and functionality and comforts of being on the Power Platform with exactly what you need in terms of a custom app. Next to customer engagement, we have Dynamics 365 Finance. Uh, it does share the Dynamics name. It is part of the Dynamics family. It is one of Microsoft's business applications. Uh, it is very different in terms of database structure than the customer engagement applications. So they're still running in the background kind of separately, uh, but there are a number of ways that we can integrate those two systems. And we'll show one of our favorite ways here in the demo in a bit. Surrounding customer engagement and finance, we have Office 365. So that plugs into this whole ecosystem as well. Uh, the customer engagement applications can integrate with Outlook. So you can synchronize your meetings, your tasks, your emails, your contacts. We get all of the power of Azure and the extensions that Microsoft has provided. There are a number of things like cognitive services, uh, sales insights, customer insights, IoT that can help supplement uh, your data and provide you with uh, kind of rich intelligence around what needs to be done and when and by whom uh, in the system to help your users become more efficient. On the right side, we have third party business applications. There's a whole group of companies out there that have built uh, extensions that are vertical solutions or that help with certain aspects of the system. And those can plug in and plug right onto the power platform as well. And then finally at the top, we have integrations and app source. There are applications and integrations that can plug into this entire stack and make the systems talk to each other as needed.